So today's tutorial is going to be on biosynthesis of terpenes. This is in our captain's TV. Kindly subscribe and keep updated. Let's proceed. Terpenes are basically a group of organic compounds or plant secondary metabolite. Made of isoprene unit. They mostly form parts of plant essential oils. In that case, they are mostly extracted from plant through steam distillation. Plant basically manufactures, synthesizes, terpenes through two main pathways. One is the mevalonic acid pathway, and the other one is through the MEP pathway. The MEP pathway uses pyruvic acid and phosphoglycerate as precursors, whereas the mevalonic acid pathway uses acetyl-CoA molecules, uh, three acetyl-CoA molecules, as precursors to manufacture terpenes. Now today we are going to center more on the mevalonic acid pathway. Look at the intermediate through the pathways and how it's a result or it ends in the synthesis of these terpenes. So let's have a sch schematic diagram of how the pathway goes. In the mevalonic acid pathway, what happens is three acetyl-CoA molecules undergoes stepwise condensation to produce mevalonic acid. Though there are intermediate produced, which we will look at them one by one. The mevalonic acid undergoes pyrophosphorylation to produce mevalonal pyrophosphate. The resulting compound then undergoes decarboxylation dehydration to produce IPP. The IPP then isomerizes to form DMAPP. We we'll look at them all. And these two molecules are used in the synthesis of the terpenes. The terpenes can further undergo cyclization and oxidation. And oxidized terpenes are what we call terpenoids. So let's have a look at them. In the start of the process, two molecules of acetyl-CoA undergo condensation Common as to acetyl CoA, so we will have two molecules of acetyl CoA acetyl coenzyme A and the goes condensation to produce acetyl acetyl CoA. To acetyl CoA further undergo another condensation with another molecule of acetyl CoA followed by hydrolysis to produce what we call the AMG CoA. Hydroxymethylglutarate CoA. The hydroxymethyl butyl CoA then undergo reduction by reducing equivalent, which we look at them. To produce mevalonic acid. The mevalonic acid produced undergo pyrophosphorylation, that is, it gets phosphorylated two times. In each of these, phosphate groups come from ATP. So, in this step, we are going to get two ATPs going to be utilized to produce 
equal to 2 ADP. And the resulting compound is in a value now. Pyrophosphate. Or well, someone will say the value of pyrophosphate is the same thing. Then the value now, pyrophosphate, then undergo decarboxylation and dehydration to produce what you call IPP. Isopentenal pyrophosphate. And the IPP then undergo isomerization in equilibrium to produce DNAPP. Dimethyl ethyl pyrophosphate. These two isomers are what is used in the synthesis of terpenes. So we have IPP and DMAPP. One will act as a nucleophile, the other will act as an electrophile. In the one that go addition reaction to produce terpenes. In each of these has a unit of isoprene. So the molecule will increase by five carbons. So basically one unique feature about terpenes is that they are number of carbons either in as acyclic or cyclic. It's either five or multiples of five. But that's one unique feature about terpenes. So it is just a schematic representation of how the nevalonic acid pathway is presented. Three acetyl molecules undergo stepwise condensation to produce hydroxymethyl glutaracol A. The hydroxymethyl glutaracol A then undergo reduction to produce mevalonic acid or mevalonate. The mevalonic acid then undergo pyrophosphorylation to produce mevalonal pyrophosphate. The mevalonal pyrophosphate then undergo decarboxylation and dehydration to produce isopentanal pyrophosphate. The isopentanal pyrophosphate then undergo isomerization that is change in position of functionality. We get a double bond to produce dimethyl era pyrophosphate. Then these two molecules then undergo electrophilic nucleophilic addition reaction to produce the first molecule of that node, which we call the geronal pyrophosphate.